get in witches we're getting cozy <laughs> hello moon babies and welcome 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 to this grimoire prompt video if you are new here my name is molly i am an author illustrator art witch auntie and mega dork and i'm really really happy that you're here so in this video we are going to be brainstorming some ways for you to create comfy cozy nourishing magic in your art grimoire so go ahead grab a cuppa come on in and let's talk about conjuring some cozy magic Our first cozy magic grimoire prompt is to name your home. So give the space where you live a name. This is a form of animism and animism is imbuing places, objects, structures, things that we would consider non-humans with a soul, with an identity. And Animism offers us kind of a next level richness, right? It takes us in deeper. It keeps us from using things and allows us to work with things. That's a big difference. And it can also help us foster a sense of gratitude, which is definitely cozy. And the name you choose could be an intuitive choice and it could also be the result of doing some research research about the particular building, the area, the history of the area, include some details in your entry about what inspired the name, and you may also wish to create a ritual around actually giving this name to your home. That could be interesting as well. But naming your home is a deep act of appreciation. It's a very powerful spell, and I would highly recommend it to witches who don't necessarily love where they live. This could be a way for you to build a new connection. Cozy grimoire spread prompt number two is to bring some softness and texture into your book with fabric. You might wish to write, draw, or paint directly onto a piece of fabric to include as a page in your grimoire. I really like to use embroidery floss and lace and bits of quilting fabric from my great grandmother's sewing stash. It feels like a literal thread moving through my work and my life and who knows who might see that in the future and it can continue the thread. <laughs> I would highly recommend snuffling around at your local thrift joint to see if you can find some excellent and weird <laughs> bits of lace and yarn. If you're lucky, quilt squares or linens that you could incorporate as an art magic material. So what do you have laying around in your stash, sentimental or otherwise, that could add a touch of soft magic to your book? Cozy Grimoire prompt number three is what recipe do you wish existed right now? What recipe could be helpful to you, to your loved ones and your community in this moment? Is it a recipe for physical or spiritual nourishment? Maybe it's both. So for example, this recipe could be for a tea that imparts a practical optimism, or maybe it's a pie that helps to lighten the burden of grief. Sorry, your Taurus girl got distracted thinking about pie. <laughs> I'm gonna make a pie later. Now, you don't have to actually be able to or want to cook this recipe, although it would be pretty awesome if you did. <laughs> The idea is to use the witch's kitchen of your imagination to see what you could bring forth that would offer up more hope, joy, and ease. All right, moon folk, 
Number four is to tell a story about a portal. So a portal is a liminal space that leads from one place to another. And a portal might be physical, it could be architectural, it could also be spiritual or imaginal. And in some cases, it's a combination of all three of these things. Doors, thresholds, windows, hallways, archways, bridges, graves, mirrors, cellar doors. Did I say altars? <laughs> Groves of trees or sacred circles. These are all examples of portals. What space in your own home acts as a portal? Or what space would you like to act as a portal? What would it be like to have a portal, a gateway to rest or comfort or safety, acceptance, or a completely new imaginal realm where you can adventure and gather ideas? Spend a little time playing around with this idea in your book and assessing possible portals in your living space. You may also wish to create a three-dimensional representation of a portal for fun and magic by adding a flap, a door, or a cutout to your pages to act as a magical portal. Mm, I love a good list. Create a list, collage, or illustration of all of the essentials that you require for a magical home base. Now, every collection of essentials is going to be as unique as the witch who creates it. So maybe for you, it's a physically tidy and spiritually cleansed space. For other witches, it might be color up on the walls, a protection gargoyle at the front door and fresh flowers on the table. For others, it might be an extra can of coffee in the pantry and regular offerings to house spirits and ancestors. And you can use this collection, this little bundle of magical home practices as a grounding spell. You can use this anytime that you feel there's unwelcome chaos that starts creeping in to ground and nourish yourself. Number six, let's make a nest. <laughs> this one's pretty straightforward. Make a nest in your grimoire. You could illustrate a nest or you could use lots of little thin strips of paper, fibers, or threads to create a mixed media collage of a nest. This could be a visual spell to house any desires for comfort or safety for security. You could also use this nest to incubate your own dreams, whether they be related to personal goals, domestic life, financial wellness, or your community. How could you make use of a nest spell? Number seven, if you were to host a celebration or a gathering that reflected your values as a magical person, what would that party be like? What would you do? Who would you invite? What would you serve? What would be the theme? This may inspire you to create a much needed new holiday. Hosting is not only a very practical social skill, but it's a powerful magical skill as well. So have fun exploring in your book the ways that you might be able to hone and expand your hospitable powers. And number eight on our list of cozy magic grimoire prompts is to recall a memory where you felt truly cared for. This memory could be a voice, a conversation, a food memory, a sense memory, a place, or an object. So maybe it's the recollection of a childhood birthday cake, or a special teacher who saw you, or maybe it's a sense memory of sleeping on a relative's sofa during a thunderstorm and you recall the texture of the blanket. An example from my own life of vividly remembering being cared for is 
when I was in grade school, I broke my arm and had a big plaster cast. And I recall my grandma visiting me and covering my cast with drawings of little blue flowers. That memory of her drawing those little blue flowers is imprinted on my soul. And I still associate care, attention, and tenderness with tiny flowers. And it's something that I use repeatedly in my own artwork to transmit that feeling to other people. Illustrate this caring memory in your grimoire as a direct link to love and possibly an expansion of your art magic visual language. If you're feeling like you would enjoy more comfy, cozy, everyday magic, I would love to invite you to this year's session of Homecraft, 30 days to your bewitching space. You can play along with an entire month of audio quests, grimoire printables, and hang out with a coven of cozy witches who are enchanting their homes using things they already have and making their own creative sanctuaries. So I'll be sure to leave a link to sign up for that class in the down bar. We start the first week of March, and I really hope you'll consider joining us. And by us, I mean the coven, not us as an entity. <laughs> join us, she says, join us. <laughs> All right, wrap this up, Robert, you're making it weird. You can scoop up all of these prompts over on the blog, as well as an accompanying cozy coloring book page that I've created for you to print out and use in your own grimoire. You can find that at mollyrobertsmagic.com, and I'll leave a link to the coloring page in the down bar. I hope that these ideas help you get some cozy magic percolating in your grimoires, in your life, in your heart. Mm. I'd like to offer deep gratitude to my patrons for making this channel possible and thank you for being here, for watching and potentially subscribing if you enjoyed the video. And thank you for being you. Thank you for being who you are in the world. And until we speak again, my friends, which on, which boldly and be well. Bye for now, Moonfocus.